What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode 19 of the Going Full High Rocks series. This series which I'm documenting all of my training up until High Rocks, Nice and Birmingham. What a difference a day makes, eh? Yesterday was a rest day. Who'd have thought rest is good for the body? Feeling very good today after Wednesday's football. Obviously I showed you my ankle that was starting to swell yesterday. It was very swollen and painful to walk on. But I managed to get through work okay. But the rest of me I just felt completely drained and I was... A little bit moody, how tired I felt. Just calves were really tight. Funny enough, the front of my calves are tight today and everything else feels fine. I've had the massage going on, so hopefully nothing's gonna happen there. But just off to work, hopefully it's quiet in yesterday. Yesterday I had just over 40 parcels to deliver. It was absolute chaos. Everyone was moaning and groaning, but managed to get the job done. Hopefully today's a bit quieter as the end of the week tends to be quieter. Busy days are. Wednesdays and Thursdays and obviously Wednesday. Was that off Wednesday? Yeah, it was. So we had one busy day this week, hopefully. Touch words, probably just jinxed it. But you think get to work. I am running a couple of minutes late. Hopefully I get there just in time. I've got four minutes and I'm like literally two minutes away. So we're gonna get through this shift and then it'll be off to a vault for a high rocks session. And I am thinking about changing things up to what is programmed. Okay, so I definitely jinxed myself saying that hopefully it's going to be quiet. So I'm hoping for it to be quiet because it is absolutely chaos. And it's much busier than yesterday. I've got 46 parcels to deliver. And today's an hour shorter than yesterday. And don't fight to do any overtime today. But at least my uniform is in so I look a bit more proper. I just feel like I don't look like almost like a part-timer with just this. This is my only bit of uniform I've, I've had. And obviously the shorts and shoes, but I got myself the outdoor jacket and the gilet, and this arrived just in time because today is absolutely blowing a gale. It's very windy and there's a bit of a chill, so autumn is definitely on the way. I've got a 20 minute break now, so I'm gonna head in, have my breakfast, have my coffee, or we'll finish it off from this morning. I'm gonna make a large confetti, uh, bring half of that here, and then just pray that it doesn't downpour and I get all these parcels delivered on time. And that is work done for another day. Definitely made a mistake wearing the new jacket because it's fleece lined. Uh, as you can see, the, the sun's have started to make an appearance and it is very warm. I've been sweating pretty much non-stop since I started, but it's all done now. Just finishing off a, a protein bar as a, a pre-gym snack, also a banana. So we'll be training about an hour and a half. I, I was going to stop and get a coffee just now at the new cafe, but I really need the loo, so I want to get back, get sorted, and I'll probably just stop in Tesco's or something to grab a, grab a can of Monster. Although it's not the same as Ghost, I need to go into town and restock on those. <coughs> Caffeine is acquired. I'm probably going to have half of this can because it's just gone three o'clock, and I don't want to risk being up all night. I'm not getting a, a good night's sleep. don't know how my mind going that, to be honest. So I'm going to probably have half of this. I'm just got seven brothers now. Asked me to sort his bins out, he's just gone away. I put them back in the drive. And one thing I'm gonna to try today, remembered, is just to, when I get to the gym, I am gonna have one of these gels, because sometimes I get through a session and I just start feeling like my energy's slacking. I don't think I eat enough between sort of breakfast and dinner. I have a large breakfast between like eight, 800 to 1,000 calories. I have a banana and a protein bar as like a, a snack, if you like, it's not really a meal. And then I'd go and train. So I think this will be a good sort of little little boost pre-gym. And obviously it's got electrolytes and stuff in, which I definitely don't have during work so I sweat a ton. So I'm gonna just take five minutes, sip on this and then head over to a vault so I don't actually have enough time to do what I wanted to do instead of the four hours of 15 minute arm wraps. Actually, this is what I'm gonna do. It was gonna be the same as last week or what should have been last week, the four 16 minute arm wraps. But I've kind of taken that idea and made it four 15 minute arm wraps, working on compromise running and like my four weakest movements. Although, given the time, it took a lot longer than I thought to get here. It's just gone four o'clock, so I only have time for three of those. So that's gonna be 400 meter run and 20 meter sled push. For 15 minutes, just as many rounds as you can. Second line rep is going to be running again with either lunges or bevy broad jumps. Probably worse at bevy broad jumps. 
and then third one's going to be running and war balls just to get you, again get you doing everything compromise that under fatigue and just yeah just beasting myself and just keep on going try and find a decent pace don't start out too quick but anyway i'm gonna need to shut up and just get on with the session so like i just said this session was heavily based on compromise running guys that's something i pretty much avoided in the last high rocks prep i just really did it properly and i struggled on the day especially after the, the sleds that's going to be a big focus for the next few weeks and obviously given the fact that i am just on six weeks out compromise running needs to be hit hard but pace on the on the runner was pretty good I was averaging just shy of five minutes around that sort of 448 no 458 to, to five minutes and i felt like I could, I could do that each time no idea what the weight on the sled was so i just chucked on two 36 kilo kettlebells and then a 30 kilo sandbag but it still feels quite easy again it's got wheels so it is there's another sled on the side of the gym but rather than try and set it up and probably have it moved I'm just sticking with this one for now but runs felt good baby broad jumps the second part absolutely ruined me but i was pleased i could go from those into that run keeping that same pace although one thing with this runner is i think i'll be able to go at least 50 to 20 seconds faster per kilometer because this just absolutely ruins my legs anyway i'm much faster on the road but i find it's good to have a session on these runners to train the legs even more so that once you are back on the road it is that much nicer and i felt the pace was pretty good for both getting five rounds and a 200 meter run in the first time up and then four rounds plus a 200 meter run i mean 400 meter run in the seconds before having to go upstairs it was a, a class on i almost did this or didn't do this at all but realized this room was free dropping thrusters for war balls again keeping that good pace and i was very surprised i could go straight from these into the run these thrusters hardly affected the legs and i'm pretty sure i got similar to the previous one finishing on four rounds in a 400 meter row again i had to work well the clean had to work around me so i was thankfully did but yeah that was a very good session maybe next week i will aim to get four rounds done and use this room for the running and lunges i won't be bringing the the ski in the row so i'm actually very glad that i came upstairs to finish off that session because it's felt like a, a great session so far i'm not sure if it's the a combo of the rest the extra caffeine and the extra carbs that have just made it a good session but energy's felt good throughout i feel like i've been able to maintain the same effort and pace throughout so i'm just going to stay upstairs now for some accessory work just should go for some um gorilla rows mind blank for a second then some core work maybe take a soap and some cable work for the arms and maybe some delts just for some bodybuilding work So I made the mistake of sitting down when I got in. It's actually been an hour and a half since I got back and I've hardly moved. Got upstairs and just I fell into an editing rabbit hole and I finally decided to move, finish this vlog. Mixing dinner, I've got some pasta on the stove downstairs. So I've got to be quick, get this done, have a shower and be downstairs. Hopefully be done by then and I haven't burnt the house down. But one thing I did buy, they're actually too small. That's what she said. Is two things for the camera. So this is hot shoe again i'm trying to learn there remember as the terms this will just sit on top of the camera so i can have obviously the microphone and i decided i'm going to get some sort of light or use the the gopro light on one side so there it is there that's going to be there and i have the so if i'm vlogging when it's dark need a bit of light i think this is actually again too small for that but you get the idea that I'll be there with the microphone on one side and I can just sit on the camera rather than faff about because the ah it's bright. The camera's only got one. And I did try and buy some more windscreens for this mic. It might still actually work. This one's got a is it a, a dead cat on it? Let me show you. So this one's got why did I turn that off? I think it was on. One of these on it. And these ones are just the 
um, pot dead cat ones, mainly to swipe when I'm out, out using the GoPro. The dead cat doesn't get in the way of the, the shot. I might see it a few times when I, when I move, but that's gonna wrap up today's vlog. Very pleased with how training went. Wasn't feeling too great in work, just tired and sluggish, but the extra caffeine, extra carbs, and probably yesterday's rest did do me some good. Tomorrow's gonna be a long-ish run, 12 to 15K. Again, yeah, decided to make Saturday's runs no more than 90 minutes, because taking longer than that's just a bit much for the, this moment in time. I wanna keep things short so I'm recovered for the session on Monday as we get closer to High Rocks, which I'm now seven weeks out, six weeks out. Again, it's not very far at all. So feeling confident after this session and feeling confident more in my compromise running. It's certainly improving and definitely something I had neglected last year. So looking forward to a, a good time. Again, still got seven weeks to train for it. So no point getting worked up or worried about it now. Just enjoy the process until we are there. I'll put my time whatever did tomorrow on screen now. And yeah, catch you all in the next one. Peace.